WFXR News is continuing our coverage of the Southwest and Central Virginia Honor Flight all weekend long. Our very own Sam Graham is on the trip with 15 veterans and their guardians and has an update from day one. It's been a busy day and we've spent a lot of it on the road, but our major stop of the day was at the National Army Museum. Students were lined up at the entrance to greet the vets as they arrived. And for some of the Vietnam vets, it meant a lot to receive the welcome that many did not get when they returned from service. I mean, when we come home, we wasn't welcomed home. And you, you kind of had to get used to that and kind of get that out of your mind. Once inside, each of the 15 vets and their guardians took their own journey through the exhibits. And for many, it brought back some powerful memories. When I finally got to Vietnam, and the first time we came under attack, I ran and jumped in the hole, right? And I'm in the hole trying to dig my way to China, scared to death. Remember, I ain't afraid of nothing. But when you're in a hole and being fired upon, it's a different story. And for others, finally making it to the museum was a journey all of its own. I've had an opportunity to come, and I couldn't tell you why I would not. Just in my mind, I didn't want to see it for some unknown reason. I don't know what it is. But I decided, and I told my wife, I'm, I'm going. Dooley was born and raised in Bedford and spent 11 months and 28 days stationed in Vietnam. He said he was glad to finally make it to the museum. Stay tuned to our WFXR newscast all throughout the weekend as we continue to follow this honor flight journey. In Fort Belvoir, I'm Sam Graham, WFXR News.